Sam, I really need to talk to you. Guess where I'm going for lunch. <laughs> oh, the ivy. Yeah, fantastic. And the thing is, Sam, I've got some bad news. What? Don't tell me Jason Martin, you don't want to have sex on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum just died. Oh, oh my God. Only joking. Martin and Jason don't want to have sex on the beach. Get me the agents. Do we know why? Martine said something about artistic integrity. What? I know, Martine. Also, Susie Amy is not playing ball. You said Gillian could have her credit back. Yeah. Well, Susie's not doing the scene unless she gets her own credit. Oh, stall her. They're shooting it today. Uh, Martine's agent on one. Hi, this is Sam from Echo Beach. No, it's a really tame scene. No real nudity. Oh. Well, apart from Jason, but we'll sweet talk him round. You know what a pushover he is. I see. I thought you were Martine's agent. Is there no room for manoeuvre? Gone quiet, negotiating tactic? Do it back to her. I will. Be tough. Have to let them know it's boss. She's hung up. Oh, cock. So nobody dies in the fire, but we still need a dramatic ending. Carlos, any ideas? Carl, new ending, any ideas? Nope. Okay, fine, be a twat. Actually, yes, I've got an idea. What? So you got Charlie and Abby, right? Yeah, but no, because Abby's gonna go off for Jimmy, obviously. Well, no, not obviously, how about this? Charlie and Abby go out looking for Jimmy, but Jimmy's gone surfing. But he gets hit by a shark, and it bites him again and again and again, and Charlie dives in, pulls him out, but it's too late, and Abby realises that Charlie is the real hero. Like, put down the popcorn. What? A shark attack in Cornwall? All right, a bomb then. Yes, yes, that's good, actually. There's a bomb in the surf shop, and Jimmy gets blown up, and Charlie tries to save him, but it's no good, and Jimmy dies. Jimmy dies? <laughs> Jimmy doesn't die. Why not? Because he's one of the main characters. And that's what makes it spectacular. Hey? What if we give them extra money? No more money in the budget. Take it from somewhere else. Where? I don't know. Something nobody cares about. Uh, costume. Oh, Jill, did you get my message? Huh? Susie's absolutely adamant about getting her credit, and they've got to do her scene now, so... Well, you know. I'm not getting it back, Sam. Then the thing is, I, I kind of have to take it back. We can't do that. It's just a one-off... Well, actually, no, I can do that. I am in charge here, you know. And... I thought you were one of the good guys. I thought you had the workforce best interests at heart. But you don't, do you? You're just another management lackey climbing the greasy pole. That is not fair, Jill. This is me you're talking to. Do you really think I care more about some actress than I do about you? Well, I suppose I... Jason? Hi. Yep, Sam here. Sam? No, 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 no I'm not doing anything. Seriously, is there something going on between you and Kelly? What do you care? I don't. Just she's a lovely girl and I don't want to see her get hurt. You really fancy her, don't you? Oh, I don't. You do? You want to kiss her? Oh, shut up. You wish she was your girlfriend? I do not want to have sex with Kelly. <laughs> well, you should. She's a dirty cow. You really have got no class at all, have you? <laughs> ending. Let's see what you've got. Is that it? That's yeah, all we can afford in your budget. Sammy. <sighs> there you go. Susan and Daniel romping on the beach. The big explosion. The lot. Yep. That's great. Apart from Susan and Daniel romping on the beach and the big explosion, they don't want to romp, and the explosion's different. Not my problem. Oh. Sam? Yeah? Listen, um, I've added a few more. What do you, what do you think? Is it, is it too full? <sighs> Not sure, really. It's hard to tell. But that might be because the entire show is falling apart in my hands like a mummified corpse! Oh, sorry. Hi. Hi. Are they giving you trouble? No, 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 no. You'll sort it out. Yeah, no worries. Any other problems? 
Um, none of your leads have died? No. Set hasn't burnt down? No. And you're definitely not going over budget? No. Martin and Jason haven't pulled out of their sex scene? No. Great. The explosion at the end, as long as that's spectacular, will be fine. You said you wanted it so that nobody dies. Yeah, not tiny, that would be shit. <laughs> it's not tiny, is it? No, exactly. Martin, Jason, the explosion, those are our bankers. Remember, Sam, make it count. Can I have a word? Oh, not, not, not now, Carl, no. I'm I wouldn't gonna... bother you if it wasn't really important. Sorry, of course, Carl, what is it? Tom's really annoying me. Can I not sit next to him anymore? <laughs> what? I can't work with him. Can I have my own office, please? Uh, oh, my God, what stupid childish... Bit. Oh, no, wait, hang on. If I give you your own office, will you rewrite the last couple of scenes? Yeah, I thought you might come to me with this. Now, I have got an excellent idea for the ending. Great. Jimmy's surfing, but there's a shark attack. Charlie tries to save him, but it's too late. What? No, 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 no. You can't have a shark just appear out of nowhere. Well, it doesn't have to be a shark. It could be a bomb. Carl, what are you talking about? You cannot kill Jimmy. You see, I think you can. Gillian. Gillian, I need you to rewrite the last couple of scenes. A smaller explosion, no romp on the beach, Mark doesn't start the fire. OK. I mean, I, I know you've got a lot on, but it would really help me out. All right. What? Which is, you know, the last time we spoke, I got the impression you weren't that, you know, concerned with my contributions or whatever. No, that's not what I... What I... I had Jason on the phone. Oh, and... right. Jason. Please, Jill. I'm just too bloody accommodating. That's my trouble. Right. So you'll do it. So, is it true that you've given the rewrite to Carl? No. Well, actually, yes. Are you insane? Have you heard about the shark? If you're not too busy to talk to costume, Dan's costume is missing. We can't shoot without it. Someone has taken all the money. OK, what if Bray knew about the shark? You can't tell him. I'm really sorry. I have no idea. Oh, for Christ's sake, will you all shut up? Um... Susie Amy's just walked. So Susie Amy did her scene OK? Yeah. She's a real trooper, old Suze. I think I'm going to make her a regular. And what about the opening titles? Is Gillian all right about losing a credit? Mmm, Gillian was very understanding. I bumped all the writers' credits, actually. And they forgave you? Yep. Maybe. I don't know. The thing is, they respect me, you know? You can't be everyone's friend, Sam. And the BBC aren't putting out doubly standards against us after all. Ah, of course not. Didn't really think they would, did you? Yeah. Change the minds. They do that a lot, you know. TV executives. Like about the TV Quick Awards. Ah, here she is. Looking gorgeous. <laughs> Everyone ready? Yeah, and the taxis are outside. Excellent. Look, I feel really bad, you know, coming. But, uh, you know, something really upset that costume lady, so I had to give you your place. Got to keep a happy ship, eh? Don't work too late. <sighs> oh, by the way, who does start the fire in the end? Well, it's a bit of a long story. Forget it. Who fancies a quickie? <laughs> so will Martine and Jason finally agree to do the nude scene? Well, the ladies in the production office certainly hope so. And will the storyline bag them a soap award? We're back in Cornwall next for Echo Beach.